We continue to talk with mayoral candidates for the city of Montgomery's municipal elections, which is one week from today. Right now we're joined by Marcus McNeil. Tell us about yourself and why you decided to run for mayor. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm 29 year old native from Montgomery, Alabama. I decided to run for mayor basically to open up the platform for the next generation of leaders. Uh, I believe that we are more innovative thinkers. We are more progressive thinkers. We are more open to new business ideas and ideas come in and, and to display the unity among the millennial generation um, in Montgomery, Alabama, because I think we're very unified uh, despite of our heritage, our backgrounds. When we when we be crazy, we be crazy together. How about that? So I, I decided to run just basically to open up that platform to display unity, to carry an open door policy for my administration and uh, progress the city forward in a different way. One way people say we need to progress the city forward is by addressing crime. It is a big issue among Most voters. Definitely. How would you address that? What is your plan to tackle crime? In order to tackle crime, you have to go to the root of the crime. And the root of the crime is our youth. Our youth, our underage, 21 and below, are the majority of our arrest records. So I think that we have to focus on them and then as well as focus on the viability of our police department and the parts that make up it and the funding for it and make sure they're equipped. With addressing the problems that you see among the youth, does that include getting schools involved in, and how do you improve our education system for our children as well? We definitely have to identify those at-risk youth um, and those youth that feel they have to go out and be a part of organized crime in order to make a living at home and help their mothers pay bills. So we have to get in and identify at-risk at -risk youth. Um, definitely work with um, Montgomery Public Schools and help them um, move forward. They've made great progression these past four years with building new schools and focusing on the curriculum and things of that nature. But also, create an alternative for Montgomery by uh, hiring attorneys and consultants to see if we can not support a city school system because I think parents deserve an option and we should have been had a city school system with a city this size. You said that children turn to crime because they see it as, a, as an opportunity, an economic opportunity. What would you do to address bringing more economical opportunities here to our area, specifically on the west side, which has long been an area of concern. I think that we have to begin to partner with small businesses as well as large corporations to see if we can put back in place apprenticeship programs. Apprenticeship programs that promise you a either degree or a scholarship to a university after you show uh, so much dedication commitment to the job, the program, and what you're learning. I think that would be a motivation for young people to see a future outside of where they currently are. How do we keep those businesses that come to this area up and running? When you drive down the boulevard, you see so many businesses that have boarded up and left. We have to create multiple incentive, incentive packages. We can't just have incentive packages for like big companies such as Hyundai and FedEx and you get a 10 year city tax break. We can uh, create smaller incentive packages for every size business, small, medium and large. Incentives help businesses become more profitable more sooner in your area and see their revenue the city has invested a lot in the downtown area, but recently we've seen some businesses pack up and leave. What would you do to bring retail growth specifically to the downtown area? Definitely have to highlight our demographics, our age demographics um, that want to patronize downtown. And I know me as a young person, I love downtown. And so we have to bring to the table to investors, developers, and potential businesses the strengths to highlight the spending power of uh, Montgomery and show that and then show the beauty of our downtown. And I think we'll be able to draw them in. Transportation is a big hurdle for a lot of residents. What would you do to improve the city's transportation system? We have to reroute the routes. They have to start going back through the neighborhoods, whether we want them to or not. Most of our riders are elderly, um, uh, disabled sometimes, mentally challenged, and walking to a main highway is not always an option, especially in bad weather. So we need to pay attention to our routes as well as the funding and the method of vehicles that we're using. How do you include our neighbors, Pike Road, Wetumpka, Prideville, to improve Montgomery? How will you work with them as a partner? You pull in their city leaders, their councils, their business owners, their uh, business community, small business administrations and things of that nature. And you see how we can coincide with one another to work together so that we can be a powerhouse, maybe like Atlanta one day, that works together and they view us as one.
the military is a big part of this community, Most as definitely. is Maxwell Air Force Base. What would you do to foster the relationships among the leaders out there? Definitely build a relationship with the leader of the base, see what's important to uh, the leadership, the families that are coming here, the families that are staying here, the families that are retiring here, and what they need to be more productive as a base and have a lucrative relationship with the city. Where can we go to learn more information about you? You can go to www.macnealformayor.com. My platform is there, information to contact me, as well as social media. Marcus, thank you so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me.